Daniel, thanks yeah. so much for being part of the show here at the gallery and bringing your Gutai paintings. And I, I, I think a great place to start would for you to explain a little bit about the Gutai movement and your involvement with it and how it has come into your paintings. Well, I actually only became aware of it this year when a friend visited me in my studio and made the correlation between the action that I involved in creating the work and the way they did it in Japan in the 50s, which was they were trying to do anything that was very new and demonstrative and rebellious with as many different materials and techniques as they could put together. And they kind of were doing it as a rebellion against the, uh, the leaders of their country in a way, the fascist uh, government during the war. And I think a lot of art movements that were very creative actually happened in rebellion against political situations. Like in the United States, the 50s action painters, the abstract expressionists, were actually rebelling against, you know, the kind of the staid middle class thing that was going on after the war and against European tradition in general. But um, my paintings, they kind of develop in a in sort of an organic way. I don't really have an idea before I start. I have an idea of the approach I'm going to use. And I kind of draw upon my, my memories and experiences of uh, the natural world, where I've hiked, where I've swam, where I went scuba diving. All those things come together in my memory, my approach before I start, including the energy systems that I've developed which was from studying the internal martial arts, Tai Chi in particular. So when I make the large paintings, I use my entire body and it's sort of a giant mono print, uh, print in a way. And then once the initial uh, painting is done, I stand the painting up vertically and I kind of carve away the, what isn't needed in the main structure of the painting. Sort of like sculpting, which I've also done a great deal of. And well, what type of tools do you use to do that? I don't, the brush I use at the very end when I'm carving away, then I do use a brush. But I use a lot of uh, uh, board, cardboard and foam cord to do scrapings and even sticks and rags and my fingers and my hands and my arms and my legs when I'm moving around. I, I put on a rain suit and I actually am using my body as if it's a paintbrush in a way. And the colors, I, I, I like the brilliant colors because they kind of remind me of my, the dream world that I experience a lot, which has astral colors. They're kind of pure colors. They're kind of related to a person's chakras because I find European colors, which are traditionally earth tones, which have been used for 500 years, they just don't interest me. It's like done, it's been done already so much. So that, is what my palette is about. How, how did you develop into the, these Gutai paintings? What were, you, what were you doing previously to them? Well, I had been pouring a lot. I have been pouring a lot on canvases and I was moving it around a lot. And I, in the beginning, I was just using my hands and my arms. And then I started thinking, well, on the big ones, why just my hands and my arms? I mean. Uh, the idea is to get a giant gesture occurring as if it's a giant wave or, or a wind blowing across the surface and for that the entire body would be good. I mean, I have, you know, it had been started with uh, Eves Klein, but he didn't do it himself. He had women do it and they weren't really artists. They were just rolling around really. And so in the process of painting, when I'm pouring the paint, oftentimes I will see an organic structure come into being that might have some animalistic or some vegetative references as if the paint was like a petri dish and something was emerging out of it and i i, I kind of let that happen i don't like a birthing yeah i i don't try and direct it i, I kind of like let the painting direct itself in a certain way and have you always painted this way I've been painting abstractly for most of my life. I, I started out representationally because that's what you learn in school. And I gradually got away from it. I knew that I was instinctively an abstract painter. 
and because it's it's a better vehicle for energies, for pure energy, and it it kind of relates more to me to music, to jazz and, and and classical music, which is abstract in a way. There's no necessarily there isn't a, a, a uh, you know a song. Well, is jazz sung. is abstract, but classical definitely has a mathematical formula to it. Right, but there is some classical that is kind of like a mixture. It's sort of jazzy, it's sort of like they were trying to break the, uh, that tradition, actually, the modern composers. It, it, like a word that I, I would associate with your work is freedom. There's like a freedom to the work and a, a freedom of putting on that suit and getting on that. How, how do you feel about that word? Do you Definitely. think that word describes that, that it word well? Is, that word is perfect because I've been trying to free my mind for half my life through various mediums and uh, disciplines. So free your mind. Could you talk about that a little bit? Well, when I meditate, I mean, Tai Chi has a form of meditation built into it. And my esoteric readings that I've been doing for half my life I'm, that is really my goal, is to totally free my mind. I practice Kriya Yoga. You do? Yes. Wow. So, and I see in your images a lot when I'm deep in my meditation, I see these colors bursting in my mind, so I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Is there anything else you would like to add about your work? Um, well, I mean, it's definitely... Uh, and, you know, when people imitate nature, when they make paintings that look like nature, my painting is more like it is nature in terms of it, it comes out of it. It's, um, it's literally is, I mean, I'm not sure it's me really. It's nature coming through me is the best way I can put it actually. So that I'm kind of like a medium for it. Well, cool. Thanks so much again. You're welcome.